there. Welcome back and thanks for joining me. All my supplies and equipment are down in the description box below and they have links so check that out. I've also got the collection in my Amazon shop. Makes it a little easier to find. So if you like this video hit that subscribe button. If you want to be notified when videos first come out hit that notification bell and if you've got any questions leave them down in the comments. All right let's get going. So let me go real, real quick over some of this. I've had some questions and I want to make sure I keep them answered. So this is the Revlon and it's got three settings. It's got a cool, low, and high. The cool is high volume, no heat. The low is low volume, heat. The high is high volume, air, and heat. So those are those. And um, this is my big guy that you hear in the background. This is the TC320. And it's got the air uh, moisture trap thing here. You just kind of release that. Or you can take it off and rinse it out. And it goes up to 100. So it's pretty cool. Um, you just pick that up. Turn it how you, where you want it. Push it back down. And you're ready to go. Now I did buy my airbrush itself separately. Um, you can buy them, I think the last time I looked, they had them, I'm tangled up, they had them uh, as a set, but then you can also buy them separately. I wanted a red just cause, just cause, and I got the one that I could take that well off, cause I don't use it. So that makes it a lot easier and stuff's not in your way. So anyway, check that out. Okay, these are my colors. Um, this is the Marabou Olive Green. I'm going to show you what it'll do uh, in a moment. It's so very cool, and you can't do that with any other ink. Um, the other one's spread. This one you put down, you can blow into a leaf, and it's really awesome. I've got some other videos that I've used this in. They are marked with Marabou in the name, so you can search it that way. Um, yeah, pretty cool. So I'm going to try something just a little different, but kind of, these are some of my older flowers that I've enjoyed and hadn't done them for a while. Um, so I'm going to put down a little bit, hopefully a little bit of pitch black, but then I want to put down the cranberry and butterscotch on either side. And that way I'll get a little bit of both and they won't really mix or hopefully not mix much. So here is this one. Um, okay, let me tell you what I do. I get ready. I go ahead and turn this on because as soon as I put that down, I'm going to dry it. I don't want it spreading. I don't want it getting big. And instead of doing a dot, I'm going to do a little bit of a line because I want this flower to be kind of maybe umbrella-y. I don't, I don't know. Well, let's just, let's just go and see. Um, Let's just do that. I was going to go this way with it. I might go that way. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, I think I want to do this. Okay, it's already gone wider than I thought and I wanted, but that's all right because we're going to go with it and see what we end up with. My number one watched video was a fluke. <laughs> it was one that I went, well, we'll just go ahead and see what we end up with. And it turned out to be one of the coolest flowers. So don't ever give up. You never know what you're going to end up with. Because see, there's a, there's a time and day that I would have ditched that and gone because it didn't do exactly like I wanted. But don't give up because you never know. And the worst thing is you learn something. Good grief. 
Okay, the alcohol. I've got it very, very low. I don't want to try to put one drop out in its splatter. So I keep it really, really low when I do this type of flower. So I'm going to start toward the bottom, and then I'll do another row grabbing from the top. Now, I like mine to turn on the bottom, so that's why I start trying to get it to, I don't want it to go just straight down. Okay, see that right there? Don't worry about that. We're going to cover it up. We're going to run another one over it. Okay, look. See it split? Keep going. One's going to dry up. Then follow the long one. I'm not sure why they do it, uh, but they do it. To get one to go right there, you almost have to like force it. You blow it harder just to get it to jump over that because it'll start splitting now that this is already down. You see, that's following the previous. Previous ink, so. that I do not like. So I want to go and take it off. There we go. Hopefully I'll fix that or I'll put a leaf over it or something. Here I'm going to try to jump that. I did a little bit, but it still did some. There, I'm going to catch that spot, and I'm going to pull around.
at this point you've laid down your background petals so now you want to start going over spots you don't like like I don't like that I don't like that so this is where I start to go over them and blend them back out Not loving the white spots there, so I'm going to try to cover that up. See if I can get it to go over it. There's that. Now I'm going to do this one. In the meantime, I've created something else I don't like, so just keep going over it. Yeah, I don't like that, so I'm going to, again, you put some ink down and it's going to start picking up what's underneath it. And I'm okay with that. That's kind of feathery looking. I like that. Let me do that one. And like I say, I am blowing. I mean, I've got it tilted blowing it. Because I want it to shoot over whatever is making it split. Don't like that. So, see, just keep doing it. <laughs> I'm aggravated things aren't going perfectly, but on the other hand, I'm glad you get to see how things don't go great all the time. And I don't like that. So, just keep going over it. You're going to eventually <laughs> like it. <laughs> or, you're going to go, that makes a great card. Which is where a lot of mine end up. Okay, I want to get rid of that, and I think I'm okay with everything else. I think. I do. I think. Okay, I'm going to put one here. I'm going to start up higher. And missed it. Um, yeah, totally missed it. I'm going to do it again. Scoot over a little bit, maybe. And then we'll drive it right over. There we go. Okay. I am content. I think I want to take that off. I don't like those two, so I want to see if I can get them off. Okay, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm about out. So I'm going to put some alcohol here. I'm going to get a brush. And I'm going to smooth it out. There. That's, that's doable. Even if it's bled out a little bit, it still looks cool. But that's also the watercolor person in me. I like that. All right. Clean the brush off. Ready to go again. Okay. Yeah. I'm happy. There's white there, not here. That bugs me, but, you know, that's just my everything needs to be equal person. And I feel empowered to leave it. <laughs> that crazy stuff we do okay so here I need to decide am I going to do 
the droopy flower that's coming like that. Or am I going to do the stick and that's the top of the flower and I'm going to do leaves. Well, I was going to do leaves. I kind of want to do a droopy flower. Um, hmm. This is where I wish I was live and I could say, vote. Tell me. Um, let me think. Yeah. I think I'm going to. I changed my mind. I was going to do a right straight up flower and now I've decided I want a droopy because I want my leaves to come up. Yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. Okay. I'm going to take a black marker. This happens to be an Artify. And I'm going to do a little bit of this, but I'm going to do green. Okay. So this green... It says Biano. Uh, is G554. It matches olive green and sap green. Great. So I'm going to use this and the black for that and the stem. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to kind of outline this. So I want to kind of make it start turning here. Something like that. Now I'm going to come into the flower a little bit because, you know, they have, there, it's just not a complete straight line. Some will put like there's some of the greenery coming down here, and then come down here. Now, there's our automatically some dark there, so let's go with that. Now, don't worry about these lines. You're thinking, what in the world? But, you know, alcohol ink markers keep blending and keep reactivating. So I can smooth that out with my green. Because it's going to reactivate. It's going to blend. It's going to mix. And I think, oh, I've got too much dark. I don't want as much dark. So, you know what? I'm going to take up some of that. Now, I'll dab some back on and see how I lighten that up. And see how it's mixing and you don't see those streaks anymore. In fact, I'm going to leave that light spot as a highlight area. And make it darker over here a little bit, I think. That's what I'm going to do. Okay, just do it. Don't think about it. That is so nerve-wracking. Okay, because this has some black in it, I want to just kind of streak through here.
Now, you're thinking, well, that looks terrible. But then I'm going to go back over it. And it's going, because I'm not doing a straight line, it's going to start blending and it's going to start adding some light and dark here and there. So don't be afraid to play. Now, I wipe off what I've picked up. I pick up some black. I wipe that off. And then I can go through, and if there's an area I really want to lighten up, then lighten it up. There. Now, something else I like to do is take maybe a really light green and just here and there put something. And I'm going to do something there. And see, that's going to start picking up some of that and reactivating it. Now, and we'll see if you can see this. Can you see that? And then you can kind of kind of mess with it. I think this is a too much of a straight line. I need to go over here. So, yeah, keep playing with it. I like it a little imperfect just because. All right, now I'm going to show you. Let's get this up a little bit. All right, now I want to show you how to do this. Marabou inks. Okay, now they're a little different. You have to poke a hole when you first get them. Um, yeah, this just lifts off. It snaps on. You just got to lift it off. Now, get your airbrush. Now, you can also take the Tim Holtz blower and do something like this. It's just not going to be as steady. I'll show you, though. The difference here. Okay, so here's this. There's that one. I mean, you can still do something like that. And that's doing it fast. Let's do something slow. Yeah, that's your speed. You can't do it any slower. It doesn't have any air pressure. So, hey, good to know. That's what it does. This is pretty cool. Now, I will say, I haven't done it for leaves doing something like that, but that still could be interesting. So, yeah, keep those two in mind. All right, back to the program. Let me make sure you're in the camera. Okay. I was wanting to do a few up like this. And 
That's what I'll do. Okay. Got this ready. Got this ready. We'll do down here. Now if I want thicker ones, I can put right back in the same spot and run it along beside it. I wanted to do that. I'm so happy. Okay, I want one tall one right there. And, sorry, let me get unhooked. I've done, got myself all tangled. So that means I'm gonna have to put down a couple drops. Now, instead of making one big puddle, I'm gonna put drop, drop, and drop. That way, all that would still be included in the blowing of that one leaf, but it won't make a wide base. I think I want that one a little wider too, but I like these. Again, that's from blowing really fast and hard versus the slower you go. You're going to have them anyway, but the extreme ones like that. Okay, I want one right here. <laughs> I like this. I need one right here now. I want a short one right here. I think that's going to even out my paper. I'm not going to put a big drop, just like one. Mm, not exactly what I was wanting, but... There. Yeah, wish they hadn't done that. Arr. But I can't take it off. Okay. All right. Yeah. I like that. Now, what I kind of want to do. Um. <laughs> I 
Oh my goodness. Since this has got some yellow, I think I could do a yellow here. Let me see if I got a yellow. do a test run. No. Okay, well that's that. We'll leave it like it is. I want to do some splatters. And I think I want to do yellow. I do. I want to do yellow. Let me see. I know I've got that yellow, too. I think that'll do good to splatter. It's a little orangier, but I think it'll splatter pretty. When you're splattering, you don't have to be on point. Nah, I don't think so. Um, okay. Neither one of those are good, but let's do this. Yep, there we go. Okay, this spot is unsettling for me. I have tried to deal with it. I have <laughs> I'm middle of editing and I'm like, don't, I just, I can't do it. All that ends in one spot. It's it's unsettling to me. Now, here's how I'm going to fix it. I am going to take a brush that will ever so slightly pull this color down. Because I don't think I can erase this. It's mixed too much with this. So I, this has to stay. If it was here, I'd have been perfectly happy. But I got a little out of my mind and thought it'd look good up there. All right. This is what I'm going to do. That's my call down. Get my brush kind of wet. Now I'm going to go up here and I'm just going to hit some of this. See? Just, just ever so slightly hit, get a little bit of this color. Now I'm going to kind of start here and just kind of add something to it so that I can bring that on back around like that. I just don't want everything ending there. Um, the colors are so slight. If you need some more, you know, you can go over it. This one. So that makes it a little better. Um, it's not fabulous, but I'm going to go with it. 
that's just a hopefully a way to fix something that you're not loving. And I'm bringing this one down here because I want the eye to continue on around. too much um no don't stick it in the water what are you doing rascal it's the other one there okay I'm happier with this. I I, I am. Um, I kind of want this one down, and I'm wondering if I should. I think I will. I got off, but all right. I'm just gonna keep going. There. You, what do you do? Hey, mister. Okay, minus the kitty. There we go. So another way, you know, messing that up, you've got the splatters, and that's that's really cool. And I could put, put a little bit of green down here, which I may do, I will do, just so that area is not so prominent. You've got a lot of stuff to look at. And that's the kind of the whole point in the splatters is that you kind of give another um, area to look at. There. So, there you go. That that helped it. I like the yellow up in here, and I don't know if I want to do any red. I almost kind of just, ooh. Do I, do I, do I, do I? I do. I do want to. Um, just to pull that in. This is a red red. I'm probably going to add some dark to it. I probably can't get it open. There we go. And that's too red. Now, anytime you add black to a color, just you just barely, <laughs> barely, because it will take it over that quick. And I hardly had any. And I don't think that's good. Now yeah, that's better. It kind of gets the same tone. And it's being splatters, it's just not going to. That's yeah, really dark. Yeah. Okay, you know me. Always adding. So, there's that. Much better, huh? Alright. Now y'all can go play.